Hello, fellow drone nerds. Thanks for joining us today. My name is Joe Kearns, and today, as you see in front of us, we've got the Autel Dragonfish. Today, we're going to go outside and show you how to assemble this product in the field. All right, let's dive in. All right, folks, let's get to assembling the Dragonfish standard. And we're going to place it on this table. We're going to walk through each step and going to put it all together for flight. And again, this is going to be about the Dragonfish standard and just about the airframe. We're going to have a separate video that will have the RTK base station and tripod all assembled as well. All right, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to grab is obviously it's going to be the, the actual uh, fuselage and base of the dragon. All right, so grabbing the dragonfish standard body and being very careful as I move this out. Again, it's not necessarily fragile, but it's definitely something you just want to pay closer attention to um, as you're getting set up. Um, when, I'm, when I'm moving this around, I did notice and, and take a look to see that these two props on the main body of the aircraft are still attached with these, uh, these units right here. Um, and then when I lifted it out, um, there's two ways. One, if you, if you did have batteries in the actual bird itself, uh, you wanted to, to actually lift from the actual uh, frame of where the wings are instead of like the outside because it gets a little kind of like wonky in that way. So just kind of lifting in that way is a little bit better. All right, so setting it right here and again, uh, keeping making sure these are nice and stable uh, because you don't want to bump this around, even though it is it is stable. Still, you just want, you don't want to bump it around. You want to be pretty safe with it. So setting that right here in the middle. Now, um, first thing I'm going to do is if you notice on the, the wings right here, you've got these two uh, aluminum uh, clips. Now, I'd like to move them up when I attach the wings. Um, but right now we got a bit of a wind, so I'm just going to kind of leave them right there. Now, a couple ways you can do it. You can actually bring all the units out um, and then kind of push it together and assemble it. But I'm going to bring a single unit out to set this up. And now a way that I like to set it up uh, to keep some, uh, some good uh, weight to the actual aircraft is I actually like to put the batteries in now because I'm setting this up solo and by myself. So let's do that. So again, coming when you're doing this, you want to make sure you, you keep the two different batteries. I've got two sets over there and I want to keep the pairs uh, together and don't want to mix those two up. So setting these in, as you can tell, I've got two different uh, attachments right here um, and, and clips and ways to, to attach these into the drone. So it's not this way, it's going to be two in here. So just gently setting it right there. I'm not even going to clip them in just yet because, you know, proper proper drone etiquette, make sure you have a controller on uh, before you attach battery or turn on the drone in that sense. So I'm just going to set them in there to give us a little bit more stability. So step one, uh, step two, again, taking that controller out. Uh, we're going to set that on the side. And when you're setting this guy up, you know, I mean, it's, it's very typical with your, with your antennas and how you, how you do that, but we're not even going to really turn this on and do like a pre-flight. We're just going to be assembling it today. So I'm just going to set that right here at the moment. All right. So next step. All right. So as I'm setting this up again, solo, I'm taking out the tail and the elevators. Now, again, when I'm setting this up, I'm being very careful with these servos on the actual tail on the elevators right here. And if I'm moving it around as I am, I'm doing it in a slow mechanism so I'm not grinding down the servos. Now, as you can see on the, the connection point of the tail, there's actually a little cap right there. And that's going to be, you're going to be attaching it right here to this tail piece. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in right now. So I'm going to take out the rubber kind of cap in a way, set that to the side. Now, when placing this into the, the aircraft itself, uh, there's good. There's a, there's definitely a, uh, a lot of special components right here. And you want to be careful when you're putting this together. You also at the tail end, you have two pressure clips. So just setting it right in, holding on the aircraft, giving a little bit of pressure, and then bam, you've got a nice clip and a nice connection right there. Scoop this up just a little bit. Uh, so we've got the tail end set up. 
Next step I like to do before setting off the aircraft is you also, you have two of the RTK antennas on the actual body itself. I like to make sure they're screwed in. So just to double check, oh, yeah, that was just a little loose. So that was good that I checked that one. All right, so next step, I like to bring out the wings and set them on the two different sides that they're gonna be going on. Um, again, it's a, you know, if you just had them sitting on the table, you, you would know by which side would be connecting as one side's thinner than the other. And the whole creating of a wing with lift, you'll, you'll be able to understand that. But you also have uh, some guiding points that are kind of the framing of the aircraft. Uh, the black large square uh, kind of like cube shape right here um, and then almost like a wood peg looking deal um, but then you have these connections so let's take each of them out all right so I know this is going to be the right wing as you can see so I'm going to set this on the right hand side nice and gentle here and again, when you're moving these around, you're definitely putting a lot of care on these uh, aluminum clips that are on the side, because if one's maybe hanging over to the side right here of any kind, you might bump it into something. So definitely uh, putting some care when you're putting that together. And so this next one, you definitely wanna be very careful on the uh, the left hand side, the left wing right here, because you have that pitot tube right there, uh, which is how you measure airspeed and everything like that. Uh, nice and red and so on, so you know it's there, but you definitely want to take some care in understanding where that's gonna be. All right, so. Next part is I'm going to take the payload out of the case and set it near the aircraft. So I just have it nice and movement there. Um, the net, uh, Cause again, I'm doing this solo. And if I have the large wing set up on it, it's not going to be a lot of room for me to move around. So the less kind of large movements I do as I set it up, the better. So payload right here, I'm gonna set it directly under where we're gonna attach it right now. So, all right, let's go ahead and put those wings on and do those nice and gently. And again, uh, we're taking the, uh, the side points, these clips right here, being very careful with them. Now, as I put them in, I'll tell you what, actually, I'm gonna make this even, even smarter. I'm actually gonna go, I'm gonna attach the other side closest to you. So let's go ahead and put this one in. And again, as I'm putting this in, I've lifted the strip. As again, as I'm setting this in, I've lifted the aluminum piece right here. I'm putting a nice guiding mechanism. I've placed them into the correct holes. And again, you're going to be gently holding the aircraft and sliding it together. So as you can see, I mean, this is already a little heavy right there. There's a little bit of a wobble, so this is a bit of a kind of a dance to make sure you are safe with it. Now, as I clip these in, I'm gonna set these guys together. And then you just gently kind of let that down and the other piece is gonna close down on it. So as I'm rotating around the aircraft, Set the next piece in. I gently slid the wing into the side. Now going to the clip. Again, you want to be extra careful with these because they are aluminum. They're not super fragile, but again, they are fragile. So now we have both of the wings on the aircraft. So just like I was saying, I definitely want to be careful now as I move around the aircraft because you can bump it and different such like that. But again, the weight of the batteries in there is kind of helping a bit. So I'm going to move around to the side right now. Let's walk around here. All right. 
side. So as I go over to it, um, pretty standard uh, setup like you would most drones that we know when we're setting these up. Um, underneath you have a you have a cover right here for the gimbal connect and the payload right there. We'll go ahead and take that off. Same on the payload, another cap to it. Take that one off as well. I like to keep the cap of the payload on as I'm setting up the, the aircraft and the bird right there, just for added safety and such. Um, as you as you look into it, it's best to at this point locate where the red dot is uh, for the entry point. You have uh, you have two small and one large. So let's take a look. All right, so one side to cl sides closest to me is going to have that place to uh, set her in. So gently pushing into it and turning and turning to the right counterclockwise. And I got that nice little click right in. So we know that the payload is ready to go. Again, I'm going to leave that cap on until we're ready to move the bird. So at the moment, um, I'm not going to, I'm not going to move the bird right now. Right now would be the best time to pick everything up and take her with you and uh, gently set her down for launch point and such, but let's get her completely prepared right now. Um, so step one, I'm going to go ahead and put those batteries in, put in. Step two, um, I like to take the, uh, the caps of these. Now, if I had this setting on the ground right now, I would do this more so. You take each of these caps off right here so they have free movement. Um, and then the next step would be removing the cover of this gimbal. So now the next point is I'm going to show you. Now the next point is I'm going to show you where I would lift it to move. I'd actually lift right under here where the heaviest two parts are, where the batteries are, and carry it with you. So again, you've got these props kind of on the sides. So you definitely want to be very careful as you move the bird. But again, there's going to be, you know, best is to get right underneath where those battery points are. The other point is once you set this bird on the ground, you want to make sure you take that the cover off that pedo tube right there, the red piece and kind of uh, bring it together with the rest of these uh, different caps and cases that you've done when you set up the bird. Take those back place them into the case or into a location that you won't forget them to be able to place them back on the same. Um, the only other thing, uh, something I do want to mention uh, when setting up this bird uh, is, you know, I, I actually waited uh, today for the snow to stop falling because though this, this bird actually has a, has a decent IP rating, um, you definitely want to be careful about loading the batteries into the dragonfish. So if, uh, you know, say if you was returning home to put new batteries in, you would want to take the bird as soon as it lands and bring it under some cover, a small tent, different things like that, because inside these spots, there is a bit of kind of a tub like shape right there. Don't want to get any water inside of there. So uh, definitely want to keep a, a good eye on, on, on when you're loading new batteries or when you're setting the bird up. And if you need to have some cover to be able to put the batteries in and not have any time that any kind of uh, moisture of water or precipitation can get inside of there. All right, folks. Well, hey, thanks so much for joining me outside with an assembly of the Dragonfish. If you have any other questions or would like to see a demo of this product, please reach out to us at experts at dronenerds.com. Otherwise, thanks for joining me out here in Colorado. Be safe, stay warm. See you later.